Hello, I'm John Fox and I'm John Alice, and I'm having a Walking Dead adventure, and I'm just going for it. Just going for it. I've already been bitten. So let's just run through the zombies, eh? We're gonna save Clementine. Uh, yeah, pretty much everyone's dead. Uh, I've sent Omid and his girlfriend, I've forgotten her name, to the railway tracks. That's safely out, right? Hopefully, maybe. Let's find. <laughs> oh my god, I got the hatchet. Do I know her? So we're gonna cut through. We're gonna save time and time. Like a badass. Badass Billy Gun. No, badass Billy Gun would be dead by now, but. We're gonna ignore the fact that these used to be people, they're not people anymore, they're zombies. Zombies aren't people, they're just walking around in the shells of people. This is kind of euphoric, I guess. It's not like kind of like a sort of. You know, it's just sort of happening. In the zone. Oh, yeah, that was a. Uh, that was a swing and a half now. There's an infirmary at the side, I think. And well, I guess it's the last episode before I sleep, so I'll finish the last couple of videos tomorrow. Not that that will affect you, I'll probably upload all these at the same time. I can't believe I let Kenny and Ben die. Definitely feels like I could have saved them. Yeah, really annoyed about that. I feel like I made a massive mistake. Like a sort of trap there. Ooh. I got us adjoining rooms. Well, that was pretty creepy. Hello. Okay. This is Sybil. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just do as he says. He does appear to be a crazy person. But, you know, let's not rule it out. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Alright. Let's be civil. Do you know who I am? I have no idea who you are. No, I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Don't be now Jesus. You're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Oh, come on. Yeah. I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. Right, so we stole all this stuff. 
But that's just cruel. We had no way of knowing. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. For the taking? Do you know what you took from me? I'm sorry. Whatever it is, whatever happened, you have to hear that. How does he know that I was the one who stole it? Doesn't mean anything to me. I wish it did. I'm not a bad man. I don't believe in vengeance, but I've got nothing left. So obviously somebody died because of the stuff I stole. But would this have, have you happened? Ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her so bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, you are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. Well, that was circumstantial. But I will apologize. Sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. <coughs> Found them. A day later. In the road. Do I look like a monster to you? A bit, I'm gonna be honest. We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. Uh. It's more complicated than that. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. She deserved it. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. How the hell do you know all this stuff? We were starving. It was cold. So my family starved in the cold! How, how do you know all this? Uh, I, lo I like the idea that he's now like Would making me examine all my choices. It's a bit of a shame that I'm not being given a chance to really think about my answers. Oh. Because of the radio. You're I a monster. You're a murderer. And a thief. And I'm going to hurt you so bad. doesn't have to be this way. You can't take care of anyone. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I'm guessing I need you to hear this. That if I didn't take all the food, the food would have been taken I anyway. Can take care of her. We can have a family. Ah, uh, this guy is... I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Look. Was bitten. You were what? Yeah. I probably don't have a whole lot of time. Wow. Okay then. I'm sorry again for your family. Me too. I'm glad this didn't have to get violent. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. Are you 
Yep, he's crazy. I'm glad too. <laughs> I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss you. Right, so directed her to the cleaver. Oh my word. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> That's not strictly true, but um. <laughs> Right, it's a real shame what happens to him. It really is. But he is also also obviously insane. Um, but don't worry, none of us are gonna make it out alive. Not my dominant hand. Dying. Did I fail that? No, I, I don't think I did. <sighs> well, this is... This is arduous. I guess I'm letting him out of his misery, though. Uh, I'm he, he could come back. It's okay, sweet pea. We're leaving. I I noticed there was a, a back button rather than the shooting. But uh I'm gonna turn into I'm a zombie. Sorry. As well. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's not your it's fault. Okay. It's okay. Uh anyway, I do need someone else because I'm going to turn into a zombie. God, I really wish Kenny was alive. Your arm's gone. Why? That's so scary. Had an accident. We'll talk about it somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Clementine, we don't have much time. It's okay. Being realistic. I'm sorry, Lee. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay, sweetie. Oh. We need to get you somewhere I safe. I like that. Oh, the, the villain was a karma villain. Been watching us. Analyzing all my decisions okay as if I had much choice. To get out of I had choice, as as but there was no. Uh, if I had taken all the nicest options, I'm still sure this scene would have still happened. So I missed what he said. I'm sorry, dude. You've had a hell of a time. Sorry you had to see that. He was going to kill you. And take you. Yeah. Stranger, he doesn't even have a name. I don't have the heart to shoot him. I do know that means he's going to come back. But hopefully, Which way out? through there. Hopefully, it won't happen in the worst possible time. Don't look at the bowling bag. Don't look at the bowling bag. Yeah, it's his wife's head. Oh, still moving. He's proper insane. I know. Okay. What time is it? Ah! Uh, he's not reacting because I'm a zombie. What the hell happened to Vernon then? Oh, what, what, what are you planning on doing? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, 
I I know this what's gonna happen. He's gonna cover us with goo and then we'll have goo. I think that's a really terrible idea, but uh I'm not sure of the logic of this. <sighs> we'll get you cleaned up as soon as we can. Not soon enough. Let's get this over and done with. Are you done? Sure. <laughs> there, that should do it. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. Yay. I thought you were gone. Thank Not you. Yay. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. <sighs> this is... Mm -hmm. We're do, really doing say? this Shaun of the Dead thing. What's in the bag? Alright, oh, whatever. Let's roll the punches. <sighs> oh, I'm pretty gutted that we lost Ben and Kenny. I I reckon I reckon there's a way to save at least one of them. I'm not 100% sure, but I reckon so. There was another door I didn't check out. I didn't even think to check another door. That parents. Quick achievement. Free, wake up. Please don't be dead. Please, no. Uh, you really should get Free. away from me. I was so scared. How did you get me over here? I thought you left me. Oh. I, I, I saw my parents. Come here, sweetie. They're dead. They really are. Oh. Uh, Clementine, we have to get out of here as fast as we can. Well, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. How did I walked she us save in. Me? Get that door open. I can't. Do it! I'm gonna change. We can't have her locked in here with me. It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. How the hell did she get me in here? Pull on three. One. Two. Three! <laughs> well, this one's easier than the murdering that dude. <coughs> what I say. Well, we've only got five minutes left and then I have to sleep. Is gone because I cut it off. Why would you do that? Because That's a very valid question. Please, no, no. That's not true. Yes, it's impossible. It is. There's no time to be upset. 
I have to be realistic. Okay. I'll try not to be. <laughs> I know it's a horrible thing, but like, she has to be calm. She's gonna have to. I, I think there might be a way out over there. She has to, uh. Well, at least he's staying on his job. Good girl. Let's go. That might be a little slow. I'll help you. Is it W to go forwards? Alright. Uh, four minutes. My tea. I shouldn't be drinking tea. It's like one o'clock in the morning where I am. I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here. Just learn another. Never let yourself get trapped. Okay? I won't. I'll get out of here. And just don't do it again. Okay, I won't. I, I, won't. I know it's horrible, harsh. But she, no, yeah, She's like. So I give her the survival lessons that I can while I'm still alive. How's it that guy in mind that we're in here? Get up, Lee! The door is right here. I think you're going alone. Use my other arm. Oh, that's just cheeky. You have to. Damn, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please try to get up. Shoot me in the head. Uh, you have to keep away from me. But Lee! Do whatever you have to do to keep me away from you. You have to. Okay. We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. Right. There's a chair over there. <laughs> uh, thanks, Lee. That's not me. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clint. You can use that. Use the bat to shut that window so you can reach in, okay? But don't okay. cut yourself. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. That guy's locked in, man. That's the only reason he hasn't moved. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. Yes, it. You're smarter than all of them. That's a good way of thinking about it, to be honest. Grab the chair, Clint. Use it to reach in to the lock. We'll get you in there. Don't worry. We're doing good. Open it. He's, he's trapped. This will be easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door. Christ. And everything you'll need. The handcuffs on the ground. Get them. Oh, handcuff Lee. Oh, what happens? I'm safe then. 
I don't know. Just do it, sweetie. Make I'm sure about to turn into a horrible I monster. I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll keep you safe. <laughs> I don't want to do this. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna let you guys go as soon as I think. Well, as soon as he gives me control. Right, there's the loading, that means it's saved, I reckon. Dear God. The bat, Clem. Get the bat. Here we go. Come on. Yay. <laughs> I was really nerve working. Like that gives you a come here opinion, that's the, the worst time. thing. Yeah, you can. Don't worry. Go to the railway, tell him to go to the railway. That's where Omid is. Omid and his girlfriend that I've forgotten the name of. Oh, I've gone over time. Yeah, it was 25. I need a pause point. Not like a halfway through a conversation point. Hey. Oh, my turn, honey. If I do, it won't be good. No, you can't. You can't do that. Trust me, Clem. Sorry. I don't want to. I dinged my glass with my cup. I'm trying. Oh. It's, it's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now, you? Please. Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You have to shoot me, honey. Uh, I probably could have let her no. know. It's okay. It's okay. Megan, first days we met. Do you remember? Yeah, I do. When I went out to rescue that boy, Glenn met a girl. She'd been bitten too. All she wanted was to not come back as a walker. Lee? Oh, yes. Remember how hard it was to do that. But I'm glad I did. There we go. The Don't nice things I did. Like of sort of. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I, I can. Aww. Find Omid and Krista. They're outside of town. By the train. You remember how to get back there? <laughs> yes. Good. If I can't put hope... I know I just met Omid and Krista, but I have to put hope in someone. Even if Vernon was a prick. What the hell happened to Vernon? And oh yeah, he stole our boat. What a bastard. Stay away from the cities. Definitely. They're just not worth the risk. And also... Blah. What? What is it? No, don't worry. Don't hug me or anything.
Oh, this is pretty nerve wracking. Well, is that the end? I can't. <laughs> this could, yeah, it appears to be the end. Okay. Um, well, I'll tell you what. What I'm going to do is. Uh, well, at first, uh, thank you for watching. This is, I've been John Proxy and channel John of the West having a Walking Dead adventure. Um, but I'm going to keep recording. I'm, I'm going to let go you now. Ah, this is what I wanted. There we go. So, me and 71% of players removed my arm. Uh, me and 74% of players lost my tempo of Kenny. I can't quite remember when that was. Me and 59% of players surrendered my weapons. Fair enough. Me and 42% of the players killed the stranger. Okay, I didn't know I could not kill the stranger. I did back off. And me and 63% of the players made sure Lee didn't turn. Okay, I would have liked to have not kill the stranger. I didn't realise that was an option. But, well, I guess this is the end. So, um, seeing if there's... Ah, there we go. This is the most interesting stuff. So, uh, Kenny, I defended his son in the drugstore. I talked him down from ignoring his son's fate, and I asked him to kill his son. Um, he was lost to the herd trying to save Ben. Yeah, there we go. I could have saved him. Could have saved Kenny. That's annoying. He was... That's annoying. All right. So, uh, Kenny's wife... Uh, what Katya found water for duck when needed it, which is nice. She shot herself when faced with her son's death, so maybe that was preventable. Because uh, uh, these obvious, these must be able to change. So maybe she was savable, and maybe Kenny was savable. That's annoying. So I tried to revive um, her dad. I've forgotten her, her dad's name. Um, Um, and he died in the meat locker at the dairy. So maybe he, could, we might, I don't think we could have saved him. Maybe we could have killed him earlier. I, I've revealed my past to, um, the lady, I've forgotten her name again, but I did leave at the side of the road. Okay, so Omid, Omid is my great, like, success story. I pushed him off the bridge to escape the herd. Um... That's good. Oh, so I saved him. I, I, I helped him get onto the train. I was separated after they crossed the sign. That's fine. You left him in Clem's care before Crawford. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. It's all, I, like, I may have to see... I'm, I'm going to have to ask questions of other people of what they did. Um, let's see if there's another screen. There is. Okay, Ben. So uh, you defended Ben when he was accused of stealing. I did. I stood up for Ben in Crawford. Ben fell to his death in Savannah Alleyway. Okay, could have died in other places. Uh, and you asked Ben to help find Clementine. Right. Um, the other lady. Um, okay, Lily is the first lady. I keep remember forgetting everyone's name. So I trusted... Um, uh, purple lady uh, with my past. I saved her at the cost of another... Yes, I did. Um, she was killed by Lily. And I agreed with her to tell others about my past. Um, there's uh, Omid's girlfriend. I met her on the worst day thus far. You revealed to your bite to her. Yes, I did. I told Omid and her to meet me at the train. And I asked Colonel Omid to find Clementine a family. Uh, I was with that dude when I found my brother, of course. I and uh, he died when Walker's attacked the drugstore because I picked her over him. And Duck, I saved his life. I helped save his life at Herschel's farm. I argued that he was not bitten back in Macon. I, he was shot by his father, and I 
Let him be my psychic to solve a mystery. Yes, sir. Those are good times. Uh, this is a long video, but this is the last one, obviously. Uh, let's click to continue. There we go. Well, I've been John Proxy on channel John of the West. I'm assuming there isn't a secret video at the end, but if there is, I can quickly turn the uh, recording and quickly back on. I did sort of say goodbye before, but I'll say it again. Uh, I've been John Proxy on channel John of the West having a Walking Dead adventure. I will be playing series 2 at some point, not just yet, I'll be doing The Wolf Among Us before that, so uh, feel free to join me there, and many of my other games I'm going to do, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Hello, there's a secret video, I managed to catch it in time. I uh, hope my recording equipment set up because I just pressed the button quickly as soon as the video started. Okay, uh, well I'm John Proxim, John John West having a Walking Dead adventure. This is just the secret video at the end. I guess... Well, obviously she survived the zombie somehow. That's, that's, that's wonderful news. Hopefully, Omid and... I'm going to remember her name at some point. Would have been nice if it said at the top of the screen. Uh, but hopefully she finds those two people and they're not dead. <gasps> Is that them? Some binoculars would be nice. Because if she's, uh, you know, it would be lovely to find out she's okay. I know there's a series too, so she's probably fine, but shouldn't think about it in those terms. I guess it's the epilogue. Come on, be those two. Oh, it's not going to tell me, is it?